everybody I am back and thank you so much for joining me here today on my channel nail nut so today I want to show you guys several things that I got from Amazon and one of those or two of those things are these polish racks now if you want to be professional and not have your polishes clutter up on your desk or your shelves this is definitely the way to go I'll have the links to all of these products that I'm showing you guys in the description bar below if you guys are interested um, go ahead and check them out but I found some really good deals on the polish racks that you see behind me and they fit up to a hundred polishes so you do fit quite a lot in there now it depends on their size of the bottle and the width and I find that the um, wider bottles don't fit as much as the skinnier bottles all right you guys I'm just giving you a close-up shot of my polish racks and if you look up there I created that those are Swarovski crystals and one stroke painted flowers so like I said it just depends on the width of the bottle and in some cases you can fit more on the rack and if they're wider and you can't fit as many like I find the Revlon ones I can't fit very many because the bottom of the bottles are much wider so yeah really good deal you guys $37 and it comes with all those screws so you don't have to worry about any of that um, coming off of your walls and you can actually use these for spices too there's so many things you can use the racks for you can even put your acrylic paints if you want in these or any other so nail the art next item that I want to show you is this nail art dust collector that I got from Amazon as well and it is the CADS I've never tried a dust collector and I wish when I had my salon years ago that I had one because it really does save your lungs from all of that dust especially when you're filing gels or acrylics or even just filing your natural nails you get a lot of dust that builds up so this is what it looks like and um, this was fifty dollars fifty dollars and ninety nine cents but why I like this one in particular as opposed to some of the other ones where you have just the circle circle inside is because it has three fans and the surface area where you're working on where it sucks all of the dust is a lot wider so as you can see you can fit a lot more surface area here it does come with this very soft padded armrest which is really great it allows your clients to have a very comfortable um, you know position when you're doing their nails and I usually just cover that with a paper towel just for sanitary purposes for each client you know you don't want to transfer bacteria although this is easy to disinfect so on the side it has the on off switch right here and I just flipped it upside down so you guys can get a better view it does come with two dust collector bags which are washable and usually what I do is I just go outside on the balcony and I turn it inside out and just shake off all the dust but you can wash these in your um, washing machine I'm just going to show you guys the three fans and they're fairly strong I think this does about 25,000 rpms per minute um, as far as the suction it's very quiet and I'm gonna turn this on in a minute once I flip it over so you guys can hear how quiet it is okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so you guys can hear that it is super quiet it just sounds like a house fan and I can already feel the suction right here and I'll hopefully get to demonstrate this in a little bit when I show you guys my drill as well so that you can see how the dust just kind of falls right into this dust collector but I absolutely love this it's definitely a must-have if you do your own nails or if you do clients nails this is definitely a must-have in your salon all right guys the next thing I want to show you all is this amazing lamp now I've seen this um, a couple of times on YouTube and I was really really curious about it but I couldn't find it anywhere I wasn't really quite sure where to get it from and I was in a nail supply store and I came across this lamp it's called the flexi lamp and if you do nails at home or if you are a crafter 
this is definitely the lamp that you want first of all it's an LED lamp it's really easy to hook onto your table as you can see it has a clamp and um, it's great for home workshop as you can see school anywhere it doesn't heat up now I've had lamps in the past and I love this one the best primarily because it doesn't heat up when you're working on your clients plus it gives you that daylight sort of light do you know what I'm talking about your your nails will really stand out when you're looking at your clients nails or your own and you want to see detail this definitely does provide that perfect light um, for the project that you're working on and as you all know LED is much longer lasting than regular bulbs and this is what it looks like I've actually got it hooked up right above my nail dust collector here and here it has the on off switch really easy to operate you guys but look at the quality of lighting and if you guys look at my previous videos you can tell that the quality of the light wasn't that great so there's some shadowing especially on the left side um, of my working station so this just makes it so much easier and here is the drill I'm going to be talking to you guys in just a little bit but this is where I've got it mounted and as you can see it's really simple very small it doesn't take up a lot of space and it has a flexible arm so you can just basically maneuver it whichever way you want you can go lower or higher it is really really handy you guys <clears throat> now this was $40 I'll put a link where you guys can find this on Amazon like I said I got this at a beauty supply store for $40 and I've seen it on Amazon. I'm not sure if it's $40 or a little more, but I'll have a link to this in the description bar as well. <laughs> I hope you guys like my hat. Isn't it cute? It's a little penguin and it has this little pump, so you can just squeeze it. Really adorable. All right, let's talk about sanitation. Now, if you are doing nails at home or on your client, you definitely want to sterilize your tools you do not want to give your client some infection that is a big no-no and I'm going to show you what I use to sterilize um, my utensils all of my cuticle nippers and cuticle pushers it is so important that you guys do this properly because you do not want to get an infection you all know those of you who've been with me for many years you all know that I had an infection on my left hand on my middle finger and it took literally two years to get rid of and I believe it was cellul cellulitis I'm not too sure because I was not diagnosed I didn't go to the doctor however I had to use Bactroban to get rid of it and it took forever to heal my nail was warped I thought oh my god I'm going to have two bad looking nails now and one is not enough so and it was not really from doing um, nails it was from me cleaning some mats some yoga mats which were filthy and I did not wear gloves which is a big no-no so yeah don't ever do that again but I'm gonna show you real quick and excuse me if I'm out of frame but this is what I use to disinfect all of my tools and not just the ones that I use on my nails but I also put my tweezers in here um, the scissors that I use to cut my own hair and my kids hair I put them in here this is barbicide and if you've gone to a hairdresser you know they use the same exact thing and this will kill pretty much most um, anti uh, most viruses and bacteria and germs and all sorts of things like that and I purchased this from Sally Beauty Supply you can find these online I'm pretty sure maybe on Amazon but it has a little tray on the inside it's stainless steel and glass which I really like I was going to get the plastic one but the plastic gets kind of gross after a while and this is why I got the glass one and I just keep it away you know so I don't like trip on it or hit it or bump into it by mistake and you just once you're done with your client you can um, go wash your tools and then immerse them into the solution and I suggest that you switch the solution out maybe once a month um, just for safe measure 
Now, probably the best way to disinfect or kill any kind of germs on your tools is to use an autoclave, but I don't have an autoclave. And that's just basically um, sort of an ultraviolet lamp type of machine where you open the lid and you put all of your tools in there and it kills all of that stuff. But this is the next best thing. Um, another thing that I like to do is is to put a little bit of <clears throat> tea tree oil in a spray bottle like this and then I just like to spray it onto the tools and that will also work. However, you have to keep in mind that tea tree oil can also eat um, through the plastic over a period of time so um, unless you have like a glass bottle where you can do that uh, plastic doesn't always work very very well but if you dilute it with a little bit of water or alcohol rubbing alcohol then you should be just fine so um, <clears throat> I think I paid about 16 to 20 dollars for the glass container Maybe a little less, I don't remember exactly, but if you go on the Sally Beauty Supply website, I'm sure you can come across this. And I think the solution was about $10, $10 or so, and it comes, the, the container itself comes in a box like this, which was really cool. And then the barbicide itself, the cleaning solution comes in a bottle like this, and this is, it's 16 full ounces, 430. 73 um, milliliters so that's a big, pretty big amount and this little bottle here fit perfectly here so once my maybe two months are up I'll get new barbicide wash this container out and get some new cleaning liquid all right so next I'm gonna show you guys real quick my nail station the desk where I make all of my YouTube videos and where I do nails and I'm going to show you my nail drill so let's flip the view on the camera so this is where all the magic happens for my videos and I know I've been slacking on videos but I have been really busy you guys and um, I actually bought this table at Goodwill for $14 it was really really inexpensive and it looks so professional. I actually like using these kinds of tables rather than uh, salon manicure ones because they're too small and I have a lot of stuff that I need to fit to have handy. I got this plastic um, cosmetics holder or container from Walmart and it was actually only $15 and here I can fit some of my nail art brushes. I've got some rubbing alcohol, acetone, regular nail polish remover, some dotting tools, my cotton pads. Over here I have some nail drill bits and that doesn't belong there. Um, cuticle tip cutter, my brush, my nail drill. So here's my drill from the other side and it has actually sh several shelves um, there's another set of shelves around the corner, which I never use because of the space limit here, but I've got some nail top coats and whatnot, some Q-tips, and that's where I keep my disinfectant and all of that stuff. And it does have a drawer, which I love. And over here I just have some nail forms, glitters, and some of my gel and more glitters and glues and all of this stuff I keep in this drawer. All right guys, I'm back. So I wanna show you real quick the features of my nail drill and then I'm gonna make a separate video and I wanna show you guys how it works in detail. I'm gonna use this plastic nail to extend um, with some gel and then I will demo this to you guys how the drill performs but I really do love this it saves your hand if you're a nail tech or if you do nails for yourself at home this will definitely save not only your back your shoulder your arm and your hand as well so this is the JSDA nail drill and this was $54 I believe and 99 cents on Amazon it just depends on 
shipping and handling and all that stuff but it um, it comes I think in two different colors I think a gray and a purple I got the purple although I didn't specify that when I did get it it just came as a purple so I'm happy with um, with that option um, and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about this drill it has 30,000 rpms per minute which is really sufficient for a nail tech or if you're doing your own nails at home you don't want any more than that no professional nail drill has had more than 30,000 rpms per minute that would just be extremely too much um, you don't need all of that torque and power for a nail drill it has absolutely no vibration which is what I love about this drill and if you guys have been a longtime subscriber of mine you know that I've reviewed several different nail drills and some from uh, several different companies in China and some were not that great I can tell you that they were just very um, very cheap quality and you could tell that they wouldn't get the job done there was a lot of vibration and you don't want that that's first of all very irritating to the nail and it doesn't really get the job done properly so this has no vibration it doesn't heat up at all I've used it several times already and it's smooth and very 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 easy to use the hand piece is also really light uh, which I was surprised and it's a lot smaller than what I remember them I've reviewed a, a Koopa nail drill which is in my opinion probably one of the best nail drills out there as far as the quality However, if you want that kind of a drill, that is going to cost you anywhere upwards from $300 to over $400, easy. Um, and this is just a really great way to save some money on a drill that's going to do the job just the same and save you a lot of money in your pocket. So for $50, $51, I think this is a really good bargain. So you get the handpiece. It comes with a little stand for the handpiece, and I just like keeping mine on top of the nail drill. This does come with a foot pedal and I want to show you this really quick. What I love about the foot pedal is that it gives you the ability to go from from very slow rotation to a little bit faster in very gradual ways. Um, whereas I've heard some nail drills that you can purchase online only have one speed on the on the pedal I don't like that I like to have a little bit more control so that is a really good feature on this nail drill it has the on and off switch also the hand and foot pedal motion and then over here you have your speed control which will Go higher depending on what it is that you want to do. You will never have to have your nail drill set this high. The most I've ever used it was about midway, so maybe about four of the little light bars is all you really need. If you're working on a natural nail, you only really need about three bars at the lowest, lowest speed. You don't need any higher than that. I've never really had to use it this high. And as you can hear, it is not loud at all, you guys. This is what you expect from any nail drill. This sort of noise, it's very, very quiet. There's no vibration to it. Absolutely none. And over here on this side, you have your forward control for those of you who are right-handed. And then your reverse for those of you who are left-handed. And it's just as simple as that. It is a really, really beautiful nail drill, really inexpensive, and like I said, it will save your hand from um, damage. And it's actually quite heavy. It is not a really light piece of material, so I know that there's some good quality in here. And this is the back, just a simple plug for it. It comes in standard um, US outlet. Uh, voltage so they will send you that when you purchase it but I absolutely love my nail drill like I said I've used it several times without any problems and um, I really love using all the drill bits it does come with just some basic 
bits which I have right here. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Just some basic diamond bits. And I like using these for around the cuticle. One of my favorite ones to use for around the cuticle area is these little ball shaped ones. I think these work really, really great getting right up underneath the lateral folds on your nails. Really, really good. So I'm going to demonstrate this to you guys in my next video. So please stay tuned if you're interested. I actually even made my own little nails uh, bit, drill bit stand out of just a plastic container. I just drilled some holes in it and yes I did use this drill. It worked really wonderful. Um, and this is one that I purchased actually years and years ago and I still have and use quite a lot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing and commenting and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!